Speaking of the tunnel, 10 days from now, there will be a special ceremony in Japan for the giant machine that will dig that tunnel beneath Seattle. The contractor for the project will officially accept the machine. But first, as King 5 Joe Fryer reports, it needed a name. Oh, hello, Lark. This is Berta. There was a time. How are you? This woman admits when she really hated her first name. This is Berta. Bertha. That's okay. In English. But in Spanish, we call it Berta. Either way, it kind of got a bad rap over the years. And when people met me, they say, Berta, but aren't you supposed to be big? But today, there's only big pride. And here are my cleaning supplies. She even slapped Bertha on the name of her cleaning service. I've learned to accept it and love it. I'm just, you know, go with the flow. It's powerful, she says, like the giant 57-foot-tall machine that will soon bore a tunnel beneath Seattle, a record-breaking beast that now bears the name Bertha. And being in a machine is just like, yes. The name was chosen through a contest. The winning students were inspired by former Seattle Mayor Bertha Knight Landis, the first woman to lead a major U.S. city. Her name's now a fixture at City Hall. See, what am I telling you? <laughs> Power, girl power. Already Bertha the Machine has a Twitter account with more than 300 followers today. She now resides in Japan and jokes about passport photos aside, will begin the voyage to Seattle next year, arriving in early spring. I love it. Bertha the Cleaner, can't wait. I will feel like that's my twin because that's how you go on life, making your own way. You make your way. It appears the only thing big about Bertha Thank you. is her wisdom. Bye-bye. Joe Fryer, King 5 News. The winning name was submitted by Elijah Bierbauer, a second grader in Hoquiam and an entire fifth grade class at Paulsbo Elementary. They'll attend a dedication ceremony for Bertha next summer.